Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is an update here. Uh, this is going to be from the top of a bench. I've got a blanket here lifting my body up a little bit. And the weights to be off this side. I think it's probably good enough, uh, you know, to count for a good rep. I want to show again what good reps are. And don't worry about doing a lot of reps right off. It's going to take time to build this thing up. And um, it's always kind of nice. Uh, maybe have a comeback, you know. I'm a little bit off center here, so I'm going to move the phone over just a little bit there. Believe it or not, it's been foggy today here in sunny Arizona, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, you want to get a good picture of yourself, uh, the weights, where they are, where they start, where they go to. Uh, we're going to do some good reps. Now, the only reason why I can do something now is because if I had a bad cold, bad chest cold, I'm not over it yet. I didn't have a hernia operation. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing anything. And anyway, we postpone that till uh, maybe sometime in January. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get one, this is like could be a link from um, a YouTube site, but it'll be on my YouTube site, but I want to do it like somebody else is doing it, so we kind of get the idea, you know, I'll put a comment in my uh, YouTube site saying go to this YouTube site, even though it's the same area, uh, hopefully it goes right to it with the proper title, you know, something short. Uh, dumbbell curl contest uh, your name and maybe the date I don't know that's one suggestion well, we can kind of keep track of where we are anyway well, it's going to be the uh, showing some decent curls again all the way up from the start um, it's always you're always sitting down you always have the weight sitting on something you're resting your arms in between each rep right that's how you can do so many you're able to get the oxygen to those smaller muscles of the arm. We're not trying to utilize other parts of the body. Okay, here we go. I'll do a few. And then I'm going to do some um, ones that will not be called correct reps, strict reps. They'll be just kind of reps you do sometimes. Okay, here we go. All the way up. All the way down. Keeping the shoulders straight. Keeping the back straight. No jerk in motion, no, any kind of motion you get at all, it's going to help get the weight up, you know. Especially like if you're standing up. This is from a dead stop. You got to strain right off from point one all the way up. Okay, those are good reps. Now, what wouldn't count as a good rep? Let's say somebody's uh, doing it here, and then they got the weight like right here. That's not far enough down. Now, you may not do that many reps, but we can't be counting anything but only strict reps. Right? Still hard to do. It's a good workout. You can get a good workout like that, but it's not going to cut it. Now, how about if you just went up to there? No, that's not good enough. You got to come up all the way up. Okay, how about how about shoulders? What if I go down like this? I come way back. Shoulders down. Way back. No, that's not a strict grip. I've done a lot of those with sandbags. It's not going to count on this one. Shoulders down. All kinds of technique. What if you're kind of going on the side of your body like that? Now, we want you to come straight on up all the way. All the way. You almost see your chin there. You know. And uh, you can do a little turn here. It's hard to keep the dumbbells just in one position, like open palm going this way. Your palm is open, but it could be facing you. You get a little turn and come in, see. Okay, what other cheap methods might somebody come up with? You either don't go down all the way, you don't come up all the way, or you're getting a lot of motion. You know, a lot of motion. That's not going to cut it. We're going to make it fair. we got to have the same, only one type of strict rep, period. Okay, anyway, we get the idea that uh, there's a lot of things somebody could do to make it easier. But uh, if you got your back up against the a straight up board that's going to help out i had my back up against a a bar but you don't have to as long as you can keep your uh, back i don't know if you noticed uh any of you watched the sandbag competition with emilio and me and 
Chicken uh, Creek Saloon, August 13th. It's on the YouTube. His back was straight, military-like, really good. And mine, I was coming down, and of course that helps out, but we both did, you know, way too many reps. And this one, we don't be afraid to start off with 10 reps. Get it out there. And as you progress, you know, there'll be somebody that's uh, start off, been doing a lot of reps right off. They might get 50, 60, 100, who knows, you know. And, uh, but if you keep working on it, you'll get those reps too. Just takes time. Guys or girls, you know, we expect uh, girls to do well too. I'm talking it up at work, but I'm going to get ready to, once my I get a voice back, <clears throat> maybe call some gyms all around the country. And if anyone else wants to do that, call some gyms. Let them know about it. Do a little, a little footwork there. It's kind of a fun contest. Um, it'll be, uh, a, you know, a big effort in the end. All right, I think that'll suffice for there. I'm sure I left something out, but basically we want just good reps. Don't worry about doing a lot right off. Just get in there. Just get something going. The more people we get in, the more people it'll attract. Right now, I think... Uh, when I upload this, which probably be tonight, I'll probably be the only one. Okay, bye-bye.